This sun rising over Paulsboro would make for a great postcard, except Raylan Stevenson's camera captured the calamity of the Conrail train derailment here on November 30th, 2012. The cloud is the cancer-causing gas vinyl chloride, an ingredient in so many products we use, leaking from one of four freight cars that tumbled into the creek just feet away from the Stevenson's house. There were some problems right in the beginning on discerning what was coming out of the cars. Public Safety Director Gary Stevenson was the deputy fire chief then. Stevenson and other emergency workers jumped into action without wearing any protective gear. If I had known it was vinyl chloride right off the bat, I would have went to my computer, to my guidebook, and read exactly what it was. But when you're adrenaline, you come out. I first came out as a homeowner, and I was sizing up those things. And I started giving, and I know hazmat, so I started giving orders right away. Yeah, probably went, should have went to the guidebook right away, went to, onto the computer right away. We should have been back further right away on the incident command system, but you're, you're dealing with things that you have to deal with split-second timing. You have to put yourself out there sometimes so the people in the rest of the town can be either saved or be safer. The National Transportation Safety Board said if Conrail had told first responders sooner than it did about the vinyl chloride, it could have assisted in executing a safe response. A Conrail spokesman says the railroad takes seriously the board's many findings and recommendations and awaits the final report and will implement all appropriate measures. The NTSB also said personnel exposure to vinyl chloride would have been minimized had the incident commander followed guidance established in the industry and by federal regulations. If there's such a good thing that came out of this whole disaster, it is now we are trained by Conrail better. They take us to courses, they send us away to learn more, the first responders. We didn't have that before. Right now, crews prepare the site of the derailment to install a lift bridge, one to replace the swing bridge built around 1873. Deputy oh, Assembly Speaker John Brizzicelli says that's one of many steps Conrail and federal regulators should take. These are for-profit companies making a lot of money and they are self-regulated. So the Federal Railroad Administration, in my mind, needs to do more to make certain that these companies are regulating themselves in a way that protects the public safety and requiring them to reinvest in infrastructure. The EPA puts vinyl chloride in the same cancer-causing category as secondhand smoke, meaning the long-term potential impact may not show up for years. I did have the highest vinyl chloride readings in my system. I don't know what's going to happen long-term, but I go every few months and all my tests, and I'm, I'm fine. We've had many people that, during the time of my working at the hospital, many people that never smoked and had, but sec they were exposed to secondhand smoke and ended up with lung cancer. So it's the unknown that scares me. In one of my dizzy spells, I fell and cracked my kneecap. Harry Zimmer lives within a mile of the derailment. He still smokes, but says the toxic gas spill made his lung disease worse. It got a lot worse. It got a lot worse. I had to uh, start an inhaler, and I could always lay, lay flat. Now i got to have three pills underneath of my head. And you think it's related to that derailment? I believe for it to accelerate that quick. Cedar Law Firm of Cherry Hill has sued Conrail on behalf of Zimmer and dozens of families blaming a long list of ailments on the spill. In its answer to the lawsuits, Conrail denies that this release caused harm to persons or property in the area, and it denies anyone was exposed to vinyl chloride at levels that would cause cancer or any of the symptoms residents have complained about. Conrail says it demands strict proof at trial. In the meantime, a Conrail Health Center remains available by appointment in Paulsboro for those impacted to file and settle claims. In Paulsboro, Michael Hill, NJTV News.